and CNN did report on it today, and they acted like it was a big thing. Oh, look, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton speaking together, although they yeah. have opposing viewpoints. They said they're going to keep it civil. Well, they don't really have opposing viewpoints. They don't have opposing bosses. They may have a few opposing ideas here and there, but they're on the same page. They're on the same agenda. And I really realized this when they were dedicating the Clinton Library and the entire Bush family was in the front seat hamming it up. I mean, that was a real wake-up call for me. I was just like, well, there is no doubt. I mean, these guys are in it to win it together. Bet they are. Well, I just want to give uh, let everybody in the Toronto area know that if they're interested, that they're, that they're at the Metro Toronto uh, Convention Center from 3 to 6 p.m. So if anybody wants to go there, we'll be there. And um, secondly, I just wanted to mention, um, did you know that the G8 meeting next year, uh, the summit meeting, is going to be in Ontario? No, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, it's uh, going to be in uh, Huntsville, Ontario, which is basically about three hours uh Three hours north of Toronto. Mm -hmm. and, well, no uh, time like the present to really, you know, gather people and gain momentum for that exactly next meeting. Doing. And uh, which, which, what's the uh, what's the website for your chapter? We are change, real quick. It's uh, TorontoChange.com. All right, thank you so much, Andrew. We're going to go to Dustin, Alyssa, Scott, and more. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmes. We'll be back after these messages. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. All right, folks, we are back. It's the Info Warrior. Remember, if you miss any of this program or you just want to download the programs after you hear them, uh, the podcast is always available the next day. I've got a new YouTube channel, YouTube slash Jason Justice 911. Of course, podcast always available over at Infowars.com if you missed the Alex Jones show. And then I've got a little play thing on the side where you can pick out, uh, I think, the last three months worth of shows and just, hey, on demand, little flash player. And uh, GCN also runs this show for 24-hour loops until the next one on its on-demand section that also located on the left-hand side of the Info Warrior. All right, let's keep going to your calls. Dustin in California, you're on the air. Hey, man, what's up? What's up, Jason? How you are? How are you? I'm all right, brother. Hey, man, Um, I just wanted to talk about, like, I had sleep problems, like, about maybe, like, two years ago. Mm -hmm. And, like, um, you were talking about that Ambien. Well, my doctor was trying to prescribe me some sleep medication. I was like, nah, man, because I know people who take that stuff recreationally. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, since I live in California, I can get medical marijuana, and that's, like, pretty much, like, legal under the state level. Mm -hmm. But on federal, you know, it's just pretty much, like, against the law. Yeah, and you know what? A great film that really portrays that, you know, they've decriminalized it pretty much altogether in California. It's very hard to get in trouble, especially if you have one of these cards that's prescribed by a doctor, which is very easy to obtain. I mean, it's not difficult. And there are these shops all over the country. Well, you, the people of California want this. They voted it in. And the uh, film Super Jaime takes a really f funny look oh. not only at, at marijuana use, uh, and really, it's true effects, but the federale is coming in and busting a lot of these head shops up without these, you know, after the state said, no, get out of here. And uh, I, I just really found it uh, an entertaining movie. It came out last summer on DVD and in theaters. I hope people go check it out. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. My friend has it on his, um, like, on Direct TV on his, like, DVR. Mm -hmm. He recorded it for me. You know, he, he was being awesome. But... Well, the honest thing, I, I really like that movie, but, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've I, I seen Endgame and all the other stuff. You know, I know about, like, how the New World Order is rising and how, like, Bilderberg was just, like, a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really tripping me out that this stuff is really happening, yo. Well, you know, it's time for us to put the big boy pants on. We can't act like we're a bunch of children sucking our thumbs in the fetal position. You know, I'm a grown-up. You sound like a grown-up. We may be young people, but that doesn't mean we get to pawn it off on an older generation. No, we have to act like adults. We have to get out into the streets. We have to warn our family and friends. And we have to say, hey, there is an agenda. Look at all this evidence. Why do you think the media didn't cover the Bilderberg Group? This should have been the number one media hotspot for weeks. They should have had a thing on the run-up to it uh, during the event and then afterwards. But no, it is a true policy setting meeting of world leaders throughout and, and you know, obviously think tankers out there. But you again, when we played that earlier Bilderberg clip of Frank McKenna, 
You know, I really like how the host handled it and how badly McKenna handled it because you could tell that he was extremely uncomfortable. And I like how he said, you know, modern day Illuminati. And that's what really caught him. And then he <laughs> used the term. Well, have you have you seen it? I mean, did you? Yeah, hear it? man, I know what you're talking about. He's just like fumbling, man. He's like, why'd you say that? Like, you yeah. know, like what? Why? Like, and then he uses like, the term illuminate. You know, he can't yeah, help himself. Yeah, he uses the term alone. No, we're trying to illuminate really the, the room. I word, man, or you can't use the T word. You know, like terrorists. Like, oh, I just said it. Oh man, you know, like if you say, like terrorists on a plate. Oh crap. All you right, Dustin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you for the call, brother. Uh, let's go to Alicia in California. Alicia, you're on the line. Hi, Jason. I just wanted you? to talk about the uh, genetically modified uh, Terminator seeds that have imploded third world nations' economies. Well, forget about third world nation economies. Australia announced that they're just going to start using GMO seeds. They're going to be mixing them with the regular ones, and you don't have a choice, and no, they're not going to be marked. So it's no longer just third and second world nations that are getting these very unhealthy seeds. It's now Australia, which I would consider a first world nation. Yeah, not just that. Uh, they've actually been caught putting uh, salmon eggs inside potatoes uh, mm -hmm. to keep them preserved longer, and uh, they're farmed basically with a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. So uh, it takes your body more energy to process it than the nutrients you actually get from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, look at Monsanto. Look at the monsters over there, and I thank you for the call, Alicia. I mean, they literally, in a program, grew live HIV virus in corn. Just type in Monsanto, live HIV, corn, and you'll find out. I'm not Johnny Nonsense. You know, I'm not Bobby Bullshiz with a Z. I'm telling you the truth. And it's unfortunate. We'll be back after this. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmis, PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com. And yes, I did steal that.